An Introduction to Chapter 6, Governance of Sustainability. Which factors are important in determining the impact of human beings on CO2 emissions? To determine the impact of human beings on CO2 emissions, we can use Elric's formula, which is based on the factors of population, affluence, and technology. Environmental impact increases depending on whether there is a population growth, higher consumption per person, and how resource-intensive the consumption of a good or service is. How will population growth have developed by the year 2030? Since 1800, the growth percentage of the world population has risen dramatically. It peaked in 1960, reaching a high point of 2.1%. After that, a steady decline kicked in, and in 2017, the growth percentage dropped to 1.2%. The decrease in growth percentage was due to increased welfare, urbanization, and family planning. And the 2040 estimates project a further decrease to 0.6% and possibly 0% by the year 2100. The growth percentage led to a sharp increase in world population. In 1945, we had 2.4 billion people, and in 2017, we numbered about 7.5 billion, an increase of more than 200 percent. Expectations are that the world population between 2017 and 2030 will rise from 100 to 113. This increase has a direct influence on the upsurge of greenhouse gases. What is the prognosis for welfare growth to 2030? The current prognosis points to increased productivity because humanity, just as in the past, continues to find more efficient and effective ways to produce goods and services. This has a direct effect on the increase of gross domestic product per person. The lowball scenario forecasts a growth percentage of 1%, and the highball scenario is 2.8%. If we take an average situation, with a yearly economic growth of 1.9%, the increase in consumption per person is 28% higher, and the index for greenhouse gases surges to 145. This is a realistic prognosis, especially with increasing productivity in Asia, Africa, and South America. What developments are important for a sustainable economy? To achieve a sustainable economy, the challenge is to phase out polluting industries and change damaging consumer spending patterns. The government plays a key role in this transition using new legislation and financial stimuli. More radical policymakers talk about the need for reformation of the tax system. Income and profit tax aren't the right instruments to achieve clean technology and a change in consumer behavior. The only way to achieve cleaner technologies and affect a change in spending patterns is to impose proper environmental taxes. Vacations are a good example. A higher tax on aviation fuel will force airlines to request higher ticket prices, which will motivate people to look for train and cycling holiday options. To what extent can clean technology contribute to the goals set by the Paris Climate Treaty? Without a new policy, the index of CO2 emissions in 2030 is prognosticated on 145. To ensure that the Earth's temperature does not increase by more than 2 degrees Celsius, emissions will have to be 16% lower by 2030 than they are in 2017 to allow an index score of 84. This can only be achieved if there is a 42% decrease in CO2 emissions worldwide for the type of products and services offered today. Is it possible to make technology 42% cleaner in 2030? And are the goals of the Paris Treaty feasible? Decreased CO2 emissions depends on population, consumption per capita, and technology. It is good to realize that the consumption factor is influenced by the consumption level and spending patterns. Regarding the discussion for green economy, we see that the discussion is focusing on spending patterns and new technology. In other words, it's not just a question of producing meat with less CO2, but whether another product can be chosen in place of meat. Spending behavior is concerned with concepts such as 
working closer to home, and clothing designed to last longer. According to Elric's theory, how you deal with behavioral change is often arbitrary. For example, can the proteins added to meat substitutes be attributed to decreased welfare or eco-effective technology? The challenge for society lies in the search for technology and behavioral change that enhances welfare and has a positive effect on the environment.